All right, what have we got? Im or la? Oh, we're getting overtaken by a McLaren. Seven laps remaining. What do you want me to do? Keep the car alive? Just finish the race? Fine. Fine. Just leave me to it, yeah? Don't worry, Devin. I got your back. Okay, I think I got PSG out of the chicane. Let's shove him. Oh, Jesus. Ultra aggressive with the defending. I mean, I like it, but... If they go overboard with it... I'm in the zone, mate. Easy pickings with the DRS. We've got Hülkenberg. Okay, we got Hülkenberg. Goes defensive. Around the outside. Got Bottas next. There we go. We got Magnusson next. And then Norris. We could get some points if we can catch 6 seconds in the next 5 laps. Alright Magnusson, let's tango baby. Gone. Oh, nearly lost it there. But we're okay, we're on softs. Not bad. We got Nick DeVries and Lando Norris ahead. Oh, cutscene, cutscene. I was closing in on some points there. What's happening? Oh, he touched the grass a little bit. Oh. He's so zoned out, man. Is he gonna crash the car? Oh, yeah, he spun it. Ouch. Devon Butler with that move is out It's a very Yuki Sonoda move thing. That too many times. We want to see him out of the car though. That's good news. Big relief there. Although he does still look a bit unsteady on his feet, Crofty. Well, thumbs up to the crowd, but I'd imagine after that he'll be quite shaken. Oh boy. He doesn't look all right though. Uh-oh, Casper's angry. Uh oh, what's happening? Never happened to Aiden. <laughs> what's this glitching thing on the bottom? Oh my god, just trashed a room. I'm done. It was his hearing. He'd been keeping it from us. Hearing? I think maybe he'd been trying to keep it from himself. I mean, he was at the height of his career. Yeah. What can you say? How did you feel? I, I was devastated. <sighs> but, uh, five years in F1. Can't argue with that. Oh, is he leaving? I mean, most people never even get a chance, so. And I was still one of the best while I was out there. You won a race, thanks to you me. Ask anyone. How did you feel when Devon left? How did I feel? Oh. Oh dear. But if we are going to hit our targets, we need another driver, a permanent one, and fast. But we are mid-season. It's impossible. So, given the circumstances, 
Do you think you can grant us a bit of leeway on the contract? I have the projections. If Connorsport doesn't reach fifth place in the constructors this season, the returns simply aren't worth my time. That was always the deal. And it still is. But with a little extra time, perhaps we... Stop! The deal stands. And without Devon driving, there's hmm. now little of interest for me beyond the contract. It's just business. There must be something we can do. So, legacy is obviously important to you, David. As a father, I, I totally get that. So if Devon, your son, can't drive, how about your daughter? Why don't we give the seat to Kelly? No. It's Callie's California his daughter? Will not be signed to Connorsport. Why not? Just <laughs> just think of the commercial opportunities for the team that signs her. Hmm? Forget legacy. <laughs> oh, we'd be You'd be making history. And you'll be giving a phenomenal talent her first break into F1. It's the right thing to do. Come on, you know she deserves it. The daughter. Who took her mother's name to spite me. Hmm. Nah, she'll never say yes. Why don't you leave that to me? Oh. So Kelly Meyer contract still stands, Ackerman. Understood. Fifth place, or I'm out next season. One problem at a time, eh? Oh, we're gonna sign her. We're gonna sign her. All right, got some more media slash administrative hey, stuff. Stars born through all the zone producers have been in touch. They appreciate how helpful we've been in getting all this work, but they saw the events in Emola and have read the reports that Devin may not be returning to the team. They'd be happy to postpone filming to later in the season if Devin returns as they're keen to work with both him and Connor Sport. Is this something that could work a little further down the line or should they be looking at filming another F1 team? Let's keep them engaged. This is an opportunity for exposure that Connor Sport can't afford to miss. Tell the producers that while Devin's place in the team is still in flux, Everyone's hoping that his absence will be short-lived and he'll be back behind the wheel soon. Be honest, in light of everything that happened, it would be unfair to leave anyone hanging about Devon's possible return. Tell the film company that while it would have been great to work with them, it's probably best that they seek another F1 team to replace us. I think, be honest, um, it's going to burn bridges that we don't need burning. Um, and that's it, apparently. Okay, news. What really happened to Devon? The rumor mill in full force, leading to extreme speculation about Devon Butler's future on the team. Okay, Andreas calling. Andreo, have you spoken to her yet? Uh, yes, we've spoken. And what did you say? She'll be around this weekend. She agreed to come and see me. You mean you haven't asked her yet? Of course not. It's a delicate situation. Uh, I'm sure she has an idea, but... Uh, look, it's not just something you casually ask over the phone, is it? Why not? Come on. This is potentially life-changing for her. And the whole family situation needs to be handled with a little, you know, care and respect. Hmm. Well, when you're the one that knows her, just make sure she says yes and fast. I'm finding it difficult to keep fielding questions about the future of Connorsport. Uh -oh. Yeah, I read part of that interview. Could almost feel you squirm. That bad, huh? Worse. Look, I'll call you as soon as I know. Okay, so people are speculating about Devin's future. Uh, Andreo's interview with Devin, uh, a port in, this, in a storm. Uh, struggling this season. Mid-season driver swaps. Already, someone's saying there's going to be a swap. Still no Devin Butler on the grid for the Spanish Grand Prix. Strange not seeing him out there. Um, do you think he'll be back? A lot of questions about Devin. I sense a mid-season signing approaching. Oh, Maxime already uh, looking at the future. Pressure continues to pile on Connorsport. It's inevitable. This will trickle down to their drivers. It's a difficult position they're in. David Croft. Ackerman must be thinking, what did he get himself into, etc., etc. So a lot of news about Devon. I'll head on over. Callie Meyer, okay. 
Cass, I'm already here, landed in Spain last night and have just arrived at the track. I have a few bits to finish up first and then I'll head straight over to Connorsport. Really looking forward to seeing you and sh catching up. I've got so much to tell you. Also intrigued at why you couldn't talk on the phone earlier and said you need to see me. You better not be up to something. Uh, Daryl Connor, Casper, they published a trackside chats interview I did. It'd be great if you can keep on top of anything Devin related. Even the smallest contradiction could lead to speculation we don't need. It's exactly the same messaging we discussed. Devin's on a medical condition and it's up to him if he wants to talk about it. Let's hold off any talk of replacement for another week if we can. Um, Cass, Callie called. Yes, she does suspect you're going to offer a seat. Of course she does. I said I couldn't possibly comment, which I guess is as good as confirming it. She's going to find out after the race anyway, right? It's wonderful you're offering her the seat. It'd be so good for the sport. Call me when you get this. Okay, so hold on. I need to go back to the news and read through this chat. Okay, so yeah, he was diverting attention. So I guess I should have misled the team, the filming crew. Ooh, maybe being honest wasn't good. Oops, but let's go to race. I know it's been a mad few weeks, mate, but you've always gone well here. So let's get your head down and see what we can do. Come on. All right. Let me just go to race director and see who's driving with us. Surely we've got a... Noah Bell is a replacement driver. Uh, I guess he's our... Uh, reserve uh, race strategy. Let's take a look um, starting on the mediums this time because it's always a little faster because we can heat up the softs a lot easy easier uh, Drop our fuel by a little bit and we're good to go. So let's start this race. Okay. So what are my objectives here? F try and secure as many points as possible. Okay. Gotcha that I can do and What else nothing? Oh bonus finish ahead of signs and Alonso. Okay, the local heroes and lights out. And we're away. Oh my god. What is happening? So many cars are driving slowly. I've been squozing off track there. How is that my fault? Sergeant squoze me out. Alright. I got grip for days, man. Oh Jesus Christ, what is that defending from the AI? Bro. They are swerving on the braking. That's illegal. Should be penalty. Okay, anyway, let's get into a groove again. Oh, nearly lost it there. Okay, let's let's get into a rhythm, try to get positions here. Up the inside. Oh, it's a new track, right. I completely forgot about this. I completely forgot they remodeled Spain. I was still thinking of the chicane at the end there. My bad, my bad. Now we know. Oh, beautiful. Move on, Sergeant. I think we can get Sonoda here as well. Got a little ERS flow. Around the outside, beautiful. Piastri. Closing in. Also, they added uh, helicopter sounds to the game. So I always think there's like a helicopter overhead where I'm living right now. And I'm like, oh wait, it's in the game. <laughs> Alright, no more mistakes on the final turn here. Nice, I love it. I love I love the update. Alright, we're in the we're in the fight for some points here. Fastest lap. Let's drag Piastri on the inside, go around the outside. Give them as much space as possible because the AI doesn't know how to give space and they smash into you. 
All right, Gasly, what have you got? Oh, what a move around the outside. Let's go up to P10. We got points. Yes, now. Are Sainz and Alonso both behind me or? I don't know. I think Sainz might be ahead because he's in a Ferrari, right? Alonso's just up ahead. Can I do another move around the outside just like I did on, who was it, Gazi or Alcon? Not on Norris, but I can make the switch back right here, heading into the slippery corner here. Okay, we got Alonso next. Okay, DRS. Lovely. Catching up on Verstappen, who's struggling. Let's go. Beating the local hero Alonso. We got signs up ahead. We got a good number of cars up ahead actually. Hey, fastest lap with no DR or ERS. I had a little bit of DRS down the straight. But we are catching. Okay, I think we may get Hamilton here. Oh, look at that speed. Boop. On the outside. Got signs of Verstappen up ahead. Okay, good work. Oh, I see P1 actually. We're in the mix for the lead. Oh, yo. Yeah. Big dive. Oh, huge lunge. Thankfully, signs got out of the way. Aiden is driving angry for Butler. Oh, Leclerc's on the same strat as me. He's on the mediums. Okay, we're boxing for softs. Perez and Leclerc going side by side. DRS and ERS engaged, I think. Russell's in the lead. Interesting. Around the outside of Perez. We're up in the podium. Yes, now. This is hard difficulty, man. How is this hard difficulty? Come on. Maybe they should get Expert or Legendary in Breaking Point as well. But then again, it's not about not as much about driving, it's more about the storyline, you know? Oh, looking nicely for a DRS moment here. Why is no one pitting yet, by the way? Oh, what a move on Leclerc, let's go. I'm still pulling good on these tires. Maybe I should go into lap 10. See out the rest of the race on the softs. How is Russell still going? I was told to pit right now for the optimal strat. Okay, we're gonna get Russell here up the inside. I used up my ERS, man. Need to recharge. And in the lead we go. Ah, oh, it's so hard without the racing lines. 
slowly trying to make my way off of these racing lines. This box. Oh my god, okay, I got launched somewhere. There's a bump in the pit lane entry. Brother, there's a bump in the pit lane entry. I just got yeeted over something. Okay, I gotta be cautious then. Okay, I could break much later there. Alright, cautiously now. Oh, nicely in. Let's go. I don't know where I release, but we're going to be on the softs and trying to push. Without racing lines, hopefully I can do it. I don't know. <laughs> I am nervous. Very nervous. If worse comes, to push comes to shove, I'm going to put them back on just to overtake a couple more people. Oh, this is bad. Oh, we're behind signs. It's because I couldn't push. Oh, white line. Oh, pray for a good exit. And that has happened, kind of. Oh, what a move. Without racing lines, let's go. I'm so excited. And I just can't hide it. I know, I know, I know. I okay, I'm gonna stop singing. I'm gonna get DMCA struck. Oh, signs, move away, buddy. Still the same aggression despite no racing lines. Alright, Hamilton Russell, let's fight. Yes. Oh, look at me fly! Let's go! Oh, I might get Russell even. Oh no. Oh god. You saw nothing. You saw nothing. Alright, here we go. Take two on Russell. Yes. Nice diving move. We got Leclerc and... I don't know who it is. Verstappen. Okay, we got two seconds to catch. Come on. Please tell me I got the pace without racing lines to try and beat these guys. They're fighting. Heading into turn one, which is always a good sight. Ah, I can't break so much later there. Oh, I got DRS on Leclerc. Let's go. Finding some real pace now. Got a move done. Oh, is this the last lap? It is. Oh dear. Can I get Verstappen two seconds? I don't think so. Unless Verstappen's really bad at his job, which I highly doubt. Still can't get turn one right. Oh man, I wanted to win this race, but... I'm happy by the fact that I've taken off racing lines and still managing to get P2. On hard difficulty, I'll take that. Oh god, went wide. That's my bad. That's my bad as well. That was horrible. What am I doing? I just waved P1 goodbye because of those two stupid mistakes. I've gone white again. What's going on? I'm misjudging the braking. Performance anxiety. Oh well, I'll take a P2. No racing lines. I'll take it. Yes, P2. Grazie ragazzi. Connor Sport for the win. Oh, that was... Oh, I'm sweating all over the place. That was difficult. Oh, yep. Smashed right into Verstappen. So it's Aiden Jackson propping up Connor Sport here today. But the big news off the track is the speculation about this team. 
whether or not they'll see out the season with their current lineup. Ooh. I think they'll have to sign a new driver, Crofty. It's a gamble worth taking. Well, the mid-season signing will get us all talking, I'm sure, but time will tell. Callie Mayer coming in. Ooh, I had to replay that because the game wouldn't load and I had to refresh the game, so... Redid the Spanish Grand Prix. P1 by the end of it. Pretty happy with no racing lines. So it's Aiden Jackson I'll take it. Up what a result. The big news off the track is the speculation about this team. Nice. Whether or not they'll Lovely job, the with their current lineup. Well, I think they'll have to sign a new driver, Crofty. It's a gamble worth taking. Well, the mid-season signing would get us all talking, I'm sure, but time will tell. Welcome then to the podium, our top three drivers. What a great Let's effort see him celebrate then. In a very difficult race. Yes. What a result. Love to see it. A long handshake, that. <laughs> there we go. Finally well, loaded. We are in a bit of an odd situation right now. So just tell me, what is it like for you today? Um, yeah, it's pretty strange, but you do what yeah. you can. Uh, not so long ago, my teammate was Devon, and um, we had a plan sorted out for the rest of the season. Uh, now it's Noah, and uh, for the last couple of races, uh, suddenly nobody's quite sure what the situation is. I've never had to drive in this, this, this situation before, so it's all pretty strange, but you do what you can. Most okay. how is Devon? And how are you finding it without your teammate? Uh, we're all concerned about him. Uh, um, yeah, I know yes, much nice press off, response, so, good. You know, I saw what happened, I'm obviously very worried for him and as is everybody else and you know, I know he's not fit to drive for us right now. As far as I know, he's working super hard to return to the sport and um, yeah, I wish him well. Well, nice. there's a lot of talk about what happens if Devon doesn't return. Would Connor Sport be looking for a new driver, do you think? Um, yeah, it's too soon to talk, that was what we... Um, discussed. Um, so I think it's too soon to be talking about nice, that. Nice, good press um, response. As far as I'm concerned, it's Devon's seat, and until we know for sure what the situation is, we shouldn't be talking about replacing him. Um, teams have reserved drivers for a reason, and you know we needed to use ours until we have a clear idea of what's going on. So, yeah, hopefully we can get some points. Nice. And finally, I've got to ask you about this. It's been reported that Mercedes have agreed a deal for George Russell Ooh. to play a small part. In the latest throttle zone. Oh, so it went to Mercedes. What make of that? Um, yeah, can't wait to see like the film. Great opportunity for him. The throttle zone movies—they're—they're they're amazing and they have such a massive fan base. So it's—it's it's great to see them acknowledge F1 in the way that it should be. And I think George is the perfect pick. So can't wait to see what he does. Yeah. Nice answer. Appreciate it. Thank you. Moving on. Here we go. Then more decisions to be made as Casper Ackerman. Ooh, hey, that's boss. a nice looking keyboard. You. Bad news, the mid-season testing session is going to have to be postponed due to unexpected extreme weather. As we're no longer involved with the Thrill Zone project, we have both Aiden and our reserve uh, Noah focused and ready to go. How would you like them to use this time? Rest or simulator? Um, there's a, been a lot going on in Connor Square recently and Aiden especially has been under considerable pressure. Let's give the driver some extra time off, a little time to relax. Hopefully it will serve them, uh, refresh them a little and improve their performance. Okay. Uh, best thing to do now is double down and focus. Um, let's give them a rest. Let's make them uh, focus. I wonder what kind of effect that will have. Let's look at the news. Connor Sport replacement. New driver in time for Azerbaijan. Interesting. Aiden's calling. Hey, Casper, you wanted to speak to me? Yes, I did. Shoot. Uh, nothing made you really. Um, to be honest, I just wanted to thank you. Hmm. What for? I'm, you know, just doing my job. No, it's more than that. Uh, well, I know why you stayed on the team. And, uh, well, I won't lie to you, it, it's not been easy. <laughs> yeah, you, you can say that again. Yeah, but you really stepped up. It's good for me to know that I've got someone like you to rely on. Always. Yeah. Look, Aiden, I'll warn you, things may not get any easier, at least not for a while, but, um... Well, we've got something in the pipeline. A potential new driver and a damn good one. Who is it? <laughs> I can't say. Not, not yet. It's a bit of a gamble. 
but if they agree, we could have something special. Mm. Nice. And, um, how is Devon? Fine. I think... Uh, I'm not sure. I mean, Davidov has closed the door on that one, but... Yeah, he tells me Devon is in a good place, though. Oh, that's good, that's good. Just you know, keep doing what you're doing, okay? And now, just get out of here. Of course. I'll catch you later, Casper. Okay, so a little distant, but good relationship between Casper Ackerman and um, Agent Jackson. So this one was about Connor Sports replacement. So are they signing someone new or are they going to keep Noah Beck or Noah Bell as their reserve? You know, a lot of speculation and then reserve driver status there socials jackson goes and freaking wins uh, i don't even have anything funny to say flabbergasted that was just insane uh jackson's putting on a clinic with the fastest lap with that connor sport car has come a long way since the last season jackson saying he wishes devin well do you really though aiden do you really wish him well i'm sure he does yeah he'd have to be pretty evil to actually wish poor health on another driver that is in fact true obviously it was a point about their relationship not butler's health um and good to see nothing else of significance email cali uh Davidoff butler this remains against my better judgment but you and andreo seem convinced this is the right direction for the team let me know the second you have spoken to her i want updates the instant they happen well done update soon team i know it's not been easy at connor's point recently but i want to all all to know that i appreciate your professionalism in the face of such adversity we know now that devon will not be joining us again this season i'm incredibly grateful for noah's efforts in particular but we still need an additional driver to bring the team back to full strength as soon as we can in that regard i hope to have news i can share with you all soon we appreciate all you've done to make this work in the meantime thank you so much andre o'connor Davidoff has been in touch one minute he's saying Callie's the right choice the next minute he's saying she's a risk if I don't if I didn't know him better I say he's panicking though whether it's a legitimate concern or for personal reasons I'm not sure would you like me to at the meeting with Callie I'm happy either way okay so let's see Callie and Casper are gonna talk now I think oh no never mind our assistant is back with hey, more boss, questions got a couple of minutes Okay, sim racing opportunity. Aiden has been approached to help promote the sim racing event on F1. He agreed to take part without consulting with us first, and the event has already announced his participation on social media. Should we still let him attend? Um, sure, I guess. Yeah, sure. I don't see uh, anything wrong with that. That's just good uh, 